we're ready to welcome our next guest here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show this morning, but a very familiar face to you that you see every single week. In fact, you might not even know how this man's story started. Take a look. While most people dream of having Joanne Strauss's elegance or Jonathan's gentleman ways, 2010 presenter search finalist J.P. Sebastian stood out as the funny one. Bonjour. Welcome to Port Louis. Something in French. Although he replaced another contestant in the top eight, J.P. was a favorite amongst fans and the finalists. It's hard to forget the guy who auditioned with SpongeBob SquarePants. Hi. Hello there. Oh, there's a nice voice. Thank How you so you much. Doing? I performed the SpongeBob SquarePants theme song in front of a thousand people. Go for it. I want to hear it. Um, well, the terms and conditions. You've got to be the kids who say, I, I, Captain. And I, I, Captain. You chant out the SpongeBob SquarePants. Okay. okay. So I have to go. <clears throat> Are you ready, kids? I, I, Captain. I can't hear you. I, I, Captain. Oh. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Hi, hi, hi Captain. Captain! Have you guys watched the show? No. no. This is useless. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Can you believe it? JP, that's where it all started for him, but now he's like the harshest film critic in South Africa. <laughs> but is he here already? Are we, are we still waiting for him? Um, I think that he might be like lingering around somewhere, I but... I um, in the kitchen, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Oh, oh. Oh. The door's just gone. There's somebody at the door. Come in! <laughs> he wouldn't Come be in! in the kitchen, would he? <laughs> hey! Look at that. Look at that. Are you ready, kids? Hi, hi, Captain! I can't hear you! Hi! Oh! Come here! Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! Oh, and yellow and porous is he! SpongeBob SquarePants! It's nautical nonsense, we something you wish! SpongeBob SquarePants! And drop on the deck and flop like a fish! SpongeBob SquarePants! Ready? SpongeBob SquarePants! SpongeBob SquarePants! SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob SquarePants. There we go. We had to finish the song. Arr. You don't know how cathartic it is, how therapeutic it is to finally finish that song. Bless all of you. Uh, were we better than Jeannie and Ellen? Your um, judges yes. On the day? They, they, they looked at me like deadpan, like. Aye, aye, Captain. That's the thing, right? I mean, you, you're rocking up at one of the most important casting slash auditions of your life, yeah. and yeah. you decide to do a reenactment of the SpongeBob SquarePants theme song. Why? Um, it had nothing to do with illicit narcotics or anything like that. In fact, <laughs> um, I was on a bus into town and um, I got a call from yeah. Grant Hines. Um, G-Funk Delicious. Yeah. G-Funk Delicious, oh, cool. as the legal name is in the South African Constitution. <laughs> um, and he said, four minutes walk away is a toppling audition. Go do it. And I was like, eh. I looked like an 18th century Vietnamese fisherman, as you saw in the video. <laughs> And I was like, is, okay, I'll go do it. So uh, I went. Uh, it wasn't really a matter of decide to. Firstly, there was Grant. Next, after I did the cheesy dating game, I like long walks on the beach, luxurious bubble bath, <laughs> and did the SpongeBob SquarePants theme song, Jeannie goes from this to do it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> All hands on deck. Like, I was going to go for broke, I'm goofy, and I was just going to be myself. But it I made like you stand it. out. That's the awesome thing, and that's what I think anyone that's looking to take part in this whole competition needs to do. But what was your experience mm -hmm. as a contestant? So for me, then, it becomes interesting because I go there, and I'm like, like I said, I go for broke. I think, well, that's that. I had my weird experience, and it was lots of fun, and I excited a lot of grown people with the children's song. <laughs> and uh, I get the call <laughs> from Alan, who says, you're going. Wow. And I'm like, wow, I won a trip to Mauritius. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's the Little thing. Little did like, you know. I, I, I literally, it's, to me, it was like a tourist kind of experience. And that's not to say I wasn't taking it seriously. Yeah. Yeah. But because I, I, I had this weird kind of interaction with the whole process, it was like a weird fever dream. I got to experience wow. all sorts of wonderful travels and um, just be myself. <laughs> and in, with in an exceptional group of people as well, man. <coughs> mm -hmm. Is, Is that, that the same outfit? Well done. Uh, uh, yes. Almost. Oh, oh wow. wow. Almost, almost. Oh. Uh, very organized, except for the sneaks, which are a bit... Um. And that's probably <laughs> the only picture where you are not smiling. Which right? is precisely the point. <laughs> I'm having, I'm being ripped off um, by, by my buds in the presenter search and me trying to be as deadpan as possible. Yeah. So, so how has this changed your life? We obviously now know you a lot better. You've really joined our family here. Yeah. How has that one little choice, that, that just responding to that moment, how has that changed your yeah, life? Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's changed it dramatically. And, uh, you know, it's, it seems like it's just sort of this... TV gig kind of thing and this thing that I did on a whim 
but um, I, I had I got to experience you know parts of the world and new people and uh, made new friends, made uh, new family, as mm. you guys said. Yeah. Um, and uh, as you know, I'm on Expresso, and um, there are all sorts of new, new sort of additions. I've got third party people interested in my sexy voice and less people <laughs> <laughs> interested in the face for some reason. Like anyway. Hey, it's a good. Whoa, 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 whoa! Who, who got this picture? Take it off the screen right now. Take it off the screen. All right. So if you're interested in traveling the journey that JP did and many other contestants on Presenter Search on Three, you have your chance to do that right now because on Friday the 13th. Wow, really? Friday the 13th and Saturday the 14th of February at the Cape Town Stadium. That's when the auditions are taking place in the mother city. In in Port Elizabeth on the 22nd uh, of February at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium, Durban 28th and the, uh, of February and the 1st of March, and also in Johannesburg on the 6th and the 7th uh, and the 8th of March. So three dates there. But check out all the details on www.presentersearchon3.com. Your life has just come full circle. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. Reunion of the year. Okay. I love it. <laughs> so, well, well, I am. Yeah. well, talking about reunions, of course, SpongeBob is in the house and boasting a brand new movie, SpongeBob SquarePants 2. And JP, please don't be too hard on poor SpongeBob <laughs> in the movie. Also, Ruben Riffle is going to be making a delicious tomati smurky. With how most fun on smurkies. And of course, our pick a box Friday travel to 33. Seven to eight to make sure you stand a chance of winning tremendously fantastic awesome prizes <laughs> on your feel good breakfast show. We'll be right back after the break. SpongeBob SquarePants. We can start with Pick a Box every Friday. For your chance to win SMS travel to 33728, follow the link and sign up to our travel community. Prizes include return flights for two, luxury accommodation, and Avios to use for local and international travel.